Welcome to the Beautiful Silks tutorial, Steam Dyeing Silk Rods. This video will demonstrate how easily you can steam dye your own silk rods using our Beautiful Silks liquid heat fix dyes. Here's what you'll need. A bamboo steamer, water, a trivet, a large pot, a stove top, gloves, a sauce bottle, Beautiful Silk's heat fix dyes, vinegar, a spoon, two large containers, a kettle, a spatula, a piece of tissue silk and silk rods. When you've gathered your materials, you must also set up your steaming equipment. Place the large pot on top of the stove top. Place the trivet in the pot and fill it with water to below the level of the trivet. Place in your bamboo steamer. Step 1. Prepare your dye baths. Add one part dye to one part water. Add approximately one tablespoon of cheap white vinegar per litre of dye bath. For easy application, we recommend you mix your dyes in a squeezy bottle. Step 2. Place your rods in a large container and cover with hot water. Encourage the rods to absorb the water by gently moving them around with a spatula. Dyeing your fibres in a wet state will help the dye spread evenly through the material. Individually stretch out the rods and lay them flat. Step 3. Squeeze on the dye bath and help the rods absorb the dye by pressing down on them with a spatula. Step 4. Line your container with tissue silk. Gently squeeze the excess liquid from the rods and place them in the second container in the tissue silk. Loosely wrap them in a bundle. Place this bundle inside the bamboo steamer. and turn the stove top on. When the pot begins to steam, leave it steaming for 30 minutes. After this time, turn it off and allow the die rods to cool in the pot overnight. Step 5. Once the rods are completely cool, Undo the bundle and run them under cold water to rinse until the water runs clear. Then squeeze out the excess liquid. Step 6. Undo the tissue silk bundle and lay the rods out on a flat surface in a warm environment and allow to dry. Now you have a range of fabulously dyed silk rods to experiment and play with. For written instructions and more information, please visit our website.